Hey guys, it's Kaylee. Today I'm going to be showing you how to animate text overlays um, in iMovie, so or using Keynote. Um, so go ahead and open Keynote and click New Document, and then just hit any presentation. It doesn't really matter. Um, then go to first of all go to the Document button up there and click widescreen, which is 16 by 9, and delete all of the um, everything in the slide. And then you're going to need a blue screen or a green screen. I'm using a blue screen. And uh, then you can go ahead and put your text in and um, change the color, the font, the size, everything, and make it how you want it. Right now, so you can go up to um, the animate button and start with uh, build in, which is when it comes in. And you can click any one of them that you want. I chose iris and sped it up a little bit. Then you can go to the action bar. I'm just going to call it bar. And also choose whatever you want. I chose rotate and um, I got kind of confused here for a little bit, but. I just had to rearrange um, some things and I made a really quick and short animation but yours can be uh, however um, can be as long as you want it to be and um, you can just watch me kind of do it the builds putting them in order kind of gets a little confusing so if you need to you can just come back and rewatch everything um, you can just see the actions I'm doing and then how it affects. I'll play it back many times and you can see how it affects the text. I finally got it the way I wanted it and now I'm just showing you how it's crisscrossed right here and uh, then I went into build out which is it moving outwards instead of inwards and oh, I'm gonna show you the builds first and then um, yeah so now I went to build out and I just chose iris again and sped it up and I switched it to in instead of out so it would do the opposite of how it came into the shot and I fixed the builds and everything after that and now I'm going to save it after I play it real quick okay so it was short and sweet and now you go to export to QuickTime and save it I'm just gonna save mine as your text here which is what I put in the text and I'm going to save that to my desktop once it saves, go to iMovie and uh, add new movie and just drag whatever clip you want behind the overlay into the um, work area underneath there and uh, size it and everything how you want it. I actually want the clip behind my uh, overlay to be blurry, so I'm going to use a um, title to do that so I click titles and it says pull focus is the title so you just um, make the text as long as the clip and then delete title and everything in there and that actually um, makes the clip blurry so I'm just going to save that to my desktop and then delete this movie and make a new one Alright, so after it shows that my iMovie has saved, uh, I'm going to delete that one later and right now I just added another movie. 
and I pulled the blurried one that I just made in and then I pulled my blue screen over that and I'm just adjusting all of the time and everything to uh, each clip right now. Once you're done um, adjusting the size of everything, go up to the overlay tab up there and click where it says cutaway and choose green screen, green slash blue screen and everything should work okay. Um, then you can um, adjust more of the time and everything if you don't want your overlay to be too overly dramatic if you um, sped it up or slowed it down or anything. So just make sure everything looks alright, cut down your overlay to just the part that you want, and then you can watch your movie. Okay, so I felt like my overlay was a little bit too slow, so I'm going to actually um, make it a little bit faster, but not too fast, and then I'm going to make my clip that is behind it slower. And I think that should work. We'll see. Yeah. There we go. So that is how you do it, and I'm just going to save that to my desktop as example. And then I wanted to show you guys this other one that I made when I added it with an overlay. So that is how you guys do it. Um, some Mac users use PicMonkey, but I just feel like Keynote is better and easier to get to. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next week.